name is Zveva Galman, but I've been known as Makena all my life. Um, Lake Ipia Nature Conservancy is right on the western edge of Lake Ipia County, bordering the Rift Valley and Lake Baringo. Um, we are primarily a wildlife conservancy and our main work is biodiversity protection. But in the last 10 years, we've been establishing a range of social and eco enterprises is in partnership with our local communities so that local communities can derive a benefit from the effective management of the natural resources. So that includes an avocado project in partnership with the smallholder farmers in the south where we've distributed avocados to 250 farmers and soon there'll be 500 acres of avocado growing in, in, in the community there. Here in the east, we've established there's a lot of this plant, Laleshwa, which grows back very quickly. So in the east, we've established an eco-charcoal project, which has the potential to employ six, seven hundred people. Um, and the, it has a dual aim of removing the Laleshwa to create more space for wildlife and also to help with, with, with security. Um, but also in generating jobs and providing a, a, a renewable, sustainable, eco-friendly um, eco-charcoal. I think that what we have lived through, and I talk as a member of this community, is that in mainly pre-election years, we witnessed these incredibly acute spikes of violence and for a number of months, we, as well as our neighbors, live in fear of people literally coming from across these mountains on the other side of the Rift Valley, inside the Rift Valley, and they storm into these areas, creating havoc and creating chaos. And in the years in between elections, normally it's about grazing, and you can negotiate grazing agreements. But of course, when there are that number of illegal weapons in the landscape, the same young men who are driving cattle with those weapons now, in non-election years, use those weapons for crime. So it becomes livestock theft and banditry and holding up vehicles on the way to market. and so. It's more average crime, but what happens in election years is that that turns into a very orchestrated um, movement of cattle and armed men into this landscape. And what you see at that time is massive destruction of livelihoods, houses. You know, we are also on this transit route as these men come through here and then go out to start burning schools and villages and 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 killing people senselessly and you question what you know what is what is the driver of that what is the root cause of that jina yangu ni Paul Njoroge Mwaura mkazi wa kijiji cha Kamwenje jirani wa Lekipia Nature Conservancy na mimi ni mmoja wa wale ambao wamesumbuliwa kabisa na majangili kijiji cha kwetu kimesumbuliwa kabisa tunajua wakati ambapo majangili walikuja E, mwaka wa 2017 wa serikali ilipo e, tulipo ilipo kuja kutuokoa kwa majumo matatu ilikuwa imekamilisha e, kuondosha majangili wote na amani ikaanza kurejelea ingawa haikurudi mia kwa mia lakini sasa e, tangu wakati huo wakati sasa imekuja kwa kiwango kipya na ikapanda juu kabisa wakaja na silaha ambazo zimesemwa ati ni, ni za nguvu kuliko za serikali zimesemwa zinaelekeza eh, risasi mbali zaidi kuliko za serikali eh, wamechukua muda mrefu kabisa I, I, fikiria kutoka januari mpaka sasa ni mwezi wa kumi tunaingia miezi kumi hawajawahi ondolewa tunashangaa kwani ni nini ambacho kilihitajika kufanywa ambacho hakiko kinapaswa kufanywa pili ni nani hao ambao wanawafadhili hawa majangili tumeona magazeti tumeona ikitaja watu fulani fulani hata wengine my inspector sasa tunashangaa kwani ni serikali inapiga serikali na ikiwa ni serikali kwa serikali inakuja kufanya nini kwetu mbona waje wapigane na sisi watu watu hamishe kwa nini wasiende kiwanja cha vita wapigane wenyewe kwa wenyewe tumejua kuna uh, wakora 
walio ndani ya, ya vitengo vya serikali na kwa hivyo ni jukumu la serikali iliyo sawa sawa iweze kuwaondoa wote sisi tunataka amani hatuna fujo na mtu yeyote laikipia ni cosmopolitan jamii zote tunaishi kwa amani kwa hivyo tunataka kile ambacho hakijafanyika kifanyike yule ambaye sasa ni regional coordinator mpya wa, wa, wa Rift Valley uh, Mohamed Mohamud tunataka pia yeye aongeze kiwango cha utendaji pale mahali ambapo eh, George natembea alifikisha na tunamshukuru nasi tunataka zaidi ili jambo hili alikomeshe ikiwezekana kwa juma lijalo na tuweze kutulia kabisa naam uh, thank you so much my name is uh, Alan Bandi I'm the security manager for Lake Penacha Conservancy uh, yeah and then uh, in terms of uh, security situation as we speak right now uh, we've had uh, we've had uh, a flight a survey uh, aerial, aerial flight uh, last week where we had uh, herds of about 10,000 to 15,000 uh, cattle still inside uh, the conservancy uh, over the last uh, few days up to up to now we've had uh, uh, substantial uh, uh, reports of exits especially with the with the with the permission by the government to allow few, uh, some of the herds to leave uh, the conservancy and be given safe passage back to their back to their uh, counties of origin i think that is in public domain but uh, i've also received reports from my teams on the ground the rangers and the different uh, sources that i have we still have a substantial amount of uh, cattle still inside the conservancy as we, as we speak uh, the approximate numbers i will put them at between 7000 and uh, 10000 unless maybe i do a uh, further aerial surveillance then we can be able to give to put proper perspective to the to the level of incursion as we speak but uh, as i said we still have uh, a substantial amount of uh, armed herders within various uh, parts of the conservancy as we speak so that is still uh, something which we we are working on together with the with the security operation yeah um so i'm called Daphne Maburi project lead at Land of Hope school uh in Laikipia county uh we have 40 kids uh, at the moment and uh, it's a preschool where we have kids ages 3 to 6 years um but at the moment we are closed and uh we've been closed for the past one month so we closed the beginning of September uh up until now we are still closed and we are not open yet uh the kids have not been coming but we have been having 40 kids who've been coming into school um they come in the morning we give them two meals in a day and then they leave in the evening uh we are a bit worried because they are not uh, attending school at the moment and they are not coming to school